The purpose of this video is to take the free Ubisoft LaForge animations and get one of them into the Unreal Engine. In the following process, I make use of two Blender plugins, the Better FBX Importer and Exporter, and the Rococo Studio Live. Open a fresh Blender scene, delete the default objects, change the frame rate to 30 FPS, import one of the Ubisoft animations using Blender's default motion capture BVH option. Make sure to change the scale to 0.01. Next, using the Better FBX plugin, import the FBX model that accompanies the Ubisoft animations. With the model and the animation in the scene, the goal now is to retarget the animation to the model. Hide the mesh to get a better view of the skeleton. As you can see, the poses don't match. Ideally, the rest pose would be used for retargeting, but that pose is strange, to say the least. Therefore, the best option is to create a pose in the first frame of the animation and use that pose as the retargeting pose. Enter pose mode. Click the record icon so all the pose changes are saved to the keyframe. Most of the bones can be zeroed out, but some bones need non-zero values. Here is a list of bones with non-zero values. All bones not listed are completely zeroed out. Of course, feel free to change the values as you see fit. These are merely the values I chose to use. After that is finished, go back to object mode. Open the Rococo Studio tab, and you may also want to quickly verify you didn't mess up the animation. In the Rococo Studio tab, set the source to the animation, and set the target to the model. Click Build Bone List. Verify the bones are properly paired. For the pose to use, select Current, otherwise the default rest pose will be used and you will get a mess. Click Retarget Animation. The process will take a while. After it finishes, unhide the mesh and verify the animation works in all its glory. Now a root bone must be added. With the model selected, go to edit mode. Hide the mesh again so the skeleton can be easily seen. Go to add single bone. Scale the bone down just so it's not in the way. Rename the bone to root. Select the hips bone and parent it to the root bone. After that is finished, go back to object mode. Select the mesh and add a vertex group. Name it root. Hide the original animation. Drag select the model. Go to export, better FBX exporter. Modify the options. Check selected objects. Change the FBX version to 2020, and change the primary axis to the Z axis. That's it. Now click Export. In Unreal, drag the exported animation directly into a folder. Click Import All. The error that pops up does not matter for the current purpose. And now the animation is working inside the Unreal Engine. Currently, there is no root motion. You can see that the root is stationary. That can be generated in animation software such as Cascadeur. As a first pass, the root bone transform can be made to be the hip bone transform projected onto the two-dimensional ground plane. Further edits should be made after that initial pass, but that process is not covered in this video.